Hello guys and welcome to the seventh episode of our SketchUp plugin reviews series. In some countries, seven is considered to be a lucky number. So let's test this theory out by trying to get this video to at least 100 likes. And in the meantime, let me introduce you to another three plugins for SketchUp. So let's get right to it. First extension, Toolbar Editor by Aurelius. So, you should all know by now that there is a native tool to create your own customized toolbars inside SketchUp. And this is great, but the problem with this tool is that it doesn't support tools not native to SketchUp. So essentially, all your plugin tools. So, what to do with your quad face toolbar or your JHS power bar that are full with lots and lots of tools, but uh, let's face it, you mostly use only a couple of them. So here comes Toolbar Editor to the rescue. You open it right here under Window Menu. And what you get is this very intuitive interface where you just create a custom toolbar that you can rename to your likings. And then you just drag and drop on it all the tools you need. There is also a nifty search filter here if you're like me and have tons and tons of plugins to search from. Second extension, Laubwerk. This plugin, when installed, gives you access to a database of highly realistic and customizable 3D vegetation and plant models compatible with most of SketchUp third-party renderers. Laubwerk toolbar comes with plant library browser button, a plant attribute editor button, and the help button. In the library browser, you get to choose the plant you'd like to add to your scene and then in the plant attribute editor window, you get to customize it the way you prefer. You can choose the age of the tree, season, even leaf density, and a lot of other render details. The cool thing is that these tree models are not heavy on your scene since they don't use a lot of RAM. That's because they're added to your scene as proxies and they're only rendered in full detail. I must say though that this plugin comes with only one free collection with just a handful of models, but they are all fully functional. If you want other plants and trees, you can purchase a lot of different tree types at the Laubwerk site. Third extension, Flowify by Call. This plugin allows you to bend an object along complex 3D faces. The best way to explain to you how it works is just to show you. So here we have a 3D pattern that we want to bend over this 3D twisted and twirled face. Now to make that happen, we also need our base face and two guiding lines connecting the base face to our target face. But before we activate the tool, we need to remember a couple of things. First, the shape you want to bend needs to be a group or a component. Second, your target twisted face needs to be in a group, have four corners and needs to be made entirely out of quads. And that is extremely important. Third, your base face also needs to be in a group and needs to have four corners. Fourth, your pair of guiding lines also needs to be in a group. And finally, fifth, these last three groups needs to be in a group themselves. So. Let's do that. Now we are all set. Just select your shape and the group where your lines, base face and target face groups are. Go to your extensions menu and select Flowify. Just like magic. All right, guys, that is it for our already seventh episode of the series of how the time flies. If you would like to try some of today's plugins, you'll find links from which you can download them in the description of the video. There you will also find the link to all the other episodes of the series. For those of you who are new to the channel, go watch the first one if you don't know how to install a plugin into SketchUp. Let me know in the comments if you want me to review a plugin you like. Please don't forget to like this video, remember we need to get it to 100 likes. And if you are new to the channel, click that subscribe button before you go. And I will see you in the next one. Aloha.